How's everybody doing? Listen, we're going to get a whole series of videos going up, up in uh, this year, whether it be philosophy, how to make money, install, sales techniques, longevity, future considerations, things like that. I realized over the last couple uh, months through this whole social distance and lockdown stuff that we've all experienced that obviously in talking to clients and contractors, people are spending all their time at home. When they spend time at home, they're enjoying their backyard. As we all know, you can't enjoy your backyard unless you have the lights are on because lights do one thing very well, um, usability of space. So more and more people are recognizing the importance of lighting. We need to capitalize on that. So there's a couple things here I want you guys to do or be aware of, and we're going to go over this in several different videos, is, <clears throat> well, first of all, as you can see, I love Milwaukee. Milwaukee came out with this unbelievably really cool roller crate system, and for me, what I do now, this is what I use now for when I do personal demos. I stack everything up. I can roll the demos around to strategic locations in the yard. So I wanted to share that, how cool that is. And we'll be doing different stuff with that later on. Now, so what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to show you the ability of our creator fixture, which is our bullet light um, with a stake how it can transform into, I mean, I don't even know, 30, 40, 50 fixtures, depending on the different apparatuses, attachments, risers, extensions, bracketry, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna cruise through the uh, workshop here. My wife was uh, nice enough to let me uh, share the video here because we didn't wanna go out to any client's house um, because of the, um, the whole shutdown deal. So we're gonna cruise through the shop here and uh, we'll see you on the other side. All right, here we are back. I've got my little table set up, and um, I like uh, I like using this bench format right here. We like to, uh, you know, we all like to uh, share knowledge. Nobody's smarter than everybody. So instead of having a table, sometimes this is a table. It's a bench. It's a seat. Um, it's a steady platform. Especially the older I get, when I'm walking around doing stuff, I got a lot of stability there. I love using these cooking sheets as a deal. Anyway, so I'm going to show you now. I've taken my fixture apart. I'm going to, I'm going to assemble it. So I'm going to kind of go in a backboard deal so you can see how cool that this whole fixture, in, in, in fact, it's the only fixture that allows you to replace and disassemble any part in the fixture. So if I was going to start with the shroud, so I have the shroud in my hand, I'm going to take the hex louver, it drops right in there. I'm gonna take the lens, and what you wanna do on the lens, you wanna just grab an inch and a half coupling, and you wanna just smash it in. Okay, that gives it a nice, tight, good seal on it. And don't be afraid not to hit it hard, because you wanna get it nice and tight. Okay. All right, so that, that's my top shroud. Then I've got my MR16. It would go right into the lamp holder, and you'll notice that there's four grooves in this lamp holder. And what that does is it allows you to drop the MR16 down, and that, in a sense, it traps the light. So it changes from a 60 to a 36, or 36 to maybe a 25, 18, so on and so forth. I also have the ability to put lenses in here so I can change the optics of what the lamp's intended to do. Um, we actually call that optical control. So th this just pops right in here that easy. So it stabilizes it, sits down there really tight, looks really good, self-centers the light bulb, and of course I don't have a socket in here just for the simplicity of this video. That comes on to here, that goes on like this. The knuckle, we have the only replaceable knuckle, and as we all know, one of the, maybe the second most failure in the field due to physical damage, basketball kids, grandkids, this, that, drunk coming out of a bar, the knuckle breaks. The other thing that breaks all the time is a stake. So you can see how fast that was. We have completely assembled the fixture literally, and I don't even know what that was, for sure under a minute. And you probably noticed how I was able to just insert the fixture without having to thread it on like everybody else's fixture. So what happened here over the last year, especially when I owned Unique Lighting, we would get literally, you know, thousands of fixtures back a year, just like every manufacturer. And for the most part, it wasn't our fault. It was the fixtures are putting to 
a physical place that they get damaged on. So I decided that I wanted to make a fixture that can live in the environment that, it, that it's going to stay in. So I wanted to make sure it was, it was field repairable. So we make the only field repairable fixture. So what happens here is this is, we call this the M1 Inc. system and the INC stands for Interchangeable and Customizational. So it's the M1 Inc. basically an attachment system. And you'll see that there's a keyway right here. All right, and that keyway goes into a slot. So anything that receives has a slot. And then this is the keyway and it's as easy as that. So the stakes can be replaced by a client, by the homeowner, no big deal. The other thing is I wanted to make sure is the knuckle was removable. So as we saw before, it just easily spins out and does that. Now, as a lighting guy, there's certain things that I have to have in a fixture that are just in extremely important for me. Matter of fact, I, I'm, I'm so, this is so important to me that I'm gonna tell you, you can't be a lighting person if you can't adjust the fixture. You can't be a lighting person if you can't eliminate glare. So these are fundamentally the most important things for me. So we make the best fixture when it eliminates glare. Matter of fact, we may be the only manufacturer that even deals with glare. So because the hex louver is, comes up from the bottom side of the shroud, I'm able to sit there and rotate it. So I can rotate it 360 degrees and then in a sense block out glare up to 280 degrees. So I virtually eliminate glare, eliminate glare almost in its entirety. And that's really hard to do. So that's key, okay? I also need to be able to adjust. So we have a thumb nut. There are manufacturers, believe it or not, which is the most craziest thing in the world. They will use an Allen, um, an Allen, uh, an Allen screw, maybe two or three sometimes. We want to be able to have a big thumb nut. Now, when you release the thumb nut, what it does is there's several actions going on the inside. There's physically gears on the inside, releases a cam nut. So it allows me to sit there and not only do this, which everybody does, it allows me to do this. So we can rotate 360 degrees this way, 180 that way. So I truly get a 540 degree rotational and then combine that with whatever angle I need, and I combine that with able to rotate the shroud, it's, it's just, it's incredible. So, very proud of this fixture. It's called the Creator 1, the Creator 2. There's a difference just in the types of metal. We make it in white, black, weathered brass, and of course we can do any type of other colors. But that's the Creator, and now I'm gonna show you how we can start interchanging it. So we'll be, I'm going to go grab my M1, my M1 ink attachment kit and I'll be right back. Got the M1 attachment kit. Um, for me, as you know, I'm a big Milwaukee guy. You could use a rigid case, a Stanley box. You can do anything you want. So what happens here is we know that if we're designing a job and whether it's 20 lights or 200 lights, we know for the, we know that we do a, you know, a fixture takeoff. Right, we know we need X amount of up lights, down lights, wall lights, niche lights, whatever it is. But now we're on a job. And for the most part, a lot of times, at least me, I'm gonna sit there maybe and I'm gonna change my mind as I'm on a job. I wanna do some different things or maybe I've added some fixtures. So if I knew I was obviously our A item is obviously our, our stake mounted fixtures like anybody. Um, and I needed to do something, maybe, maybe I wanna put it into a tree. All I do is tur quarter turn the stake. I take the stake out. I come over to my M1 attachment kit. I grab a tree bracket, which we call this a tactical bracket. And you can see it's got the same mechanism on the inside. It's got the it matches, the, it takes the keyway. And I simply go like this. And now I have a down light. It's that fast and that easy. So I can change my mind on the job. So what we do is we also give you two standoff screws, which is really important because trees grow out. Um, they, they grow top up. So if I put it right here in this position, fixture is always going to be at this position, but the tree grows this way. So I want to make sure I use something that can stand the tree off. So the light goes on the inside and then this goes on in the bracket and you can see that this would stand off from the tree a good inch, inch and a quarter or so. So it gives you years and years and years without having to go back and do any required maintenance. So this is the fixture with the tactical bracket. All right, so we just showed you how I converted the Creator stake-mounted fixture 
into what we call really the guardsman from factory, which is just a tr tree bracket, um, which we call the tactical bracket. Now, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna take the tactical bracket off. I'm gonna convert it now to a dome-based fixture, for, which we call our Sentinel series. And again, we just have a conventional dome base. It's got our matching keyway system on the inside and you just put it in and rotate it. And now I've got a, and now I've got a down light that I can mount on post, on beams, under eaves, do different things. And this is really where this, this adjustability comes in. You really appreciate it when you're doing any type of thing from an elevation, whether it be down or up, something like this when you're mounting it. It is just phenomenal. So, so we just went from a creator to a guardsman to a uh, sentinel. All right, all right, we're back. So you just saw me go from a stake to a tactical bracket to a dome base. Now in our sentry line, which really, the sentry line is pretty simple. It's the, the, the base and the shroud with this adjustable knuckle. Now what I wanna do though, is I'm gonna change into some, uh, into some of our other attachments. So we can take this, unscrew the thumb nut, you pop this off, you can see the gears on the inside right here. Okay, so be careful not to lose that cam nut. Now this keyway will come out. I will then replace it with a threaded, okay, base. So it locks it up back into the gear. So we call this the TAD, threaded adapter. All right, I'll put the outer plate back on. I'll attach and screw on the thumb base. And you can see how fast this is. This is real time, no movie magic. Now I can sit there and I can screw in a wall bracket. So you can see how handy this is gonna be. Different fascia mounts, different things. I can sit there and I can put it on, I can mount it on just so many different things. And we're gonna obviously show you, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna show you some real applications and how clever this is to mount stuff. But you can see what you can do now. I mean, you can just do all kinds of crazy different angles and different things. I mean, it's just like, uh, talk about a projection. So you can actually even think this is like the projector light. But then this, so this is just a wall mounted adapter and you can see that the sentry now can turn into several things. Okay, we're gonna be right back and I'm gonna show you another conversion. All right, so the one thing I wanted to show you too, that you're gonna really be pleased with this. It's like an erector set, Legos. You can sit there and add risers to anything. We have risers in three, four, six, and 12. Just for whatever reason, you need to do something to project down or extend out or up for that matter. And you can see that, um, you know, you can get some crazy distances if I had to. I mean, I could actually, if I had to, if I had to mount this on a parapet wall or on top of an edge, I could do all kinds of crazy things. Look at that. Okay, extend it out. I can extend it down. I can extend it up. We've all been on jobs where there's been some type of um, obstruction, a detail, some type of reveal, and I need uh, my mounting location was fixed. I needed to extend it out and up or down. So that's really slick. So this is just really a wall mount with an extension onto our sentry. Okay, and I'll be right back and show you a few, few more things. All right, so I just converted the lock and load um, to the threaded adapter, and I've shown that in a previous video, so I don't want to waste your time on that. So if you needed to do any type of a, a riser and you had the dome base amount, you can just add the riser. We make them in three, four, six, and 12. And then we also have threads. Our dome bases are pretty, uh, very clever. They not only lock and load, but they also have threads on the inside. So if you ever did need to add a riser or an extension from a dome base location, you can absolutely do that for whatever reason. You need to project down, project up, project out. You can do a lot of crazy things. So our brass line of extensions or risers, four, three, four, six, and 12. And then of course we make schedule 80 PVC ones that you could have, I mean, you can do whatever you want, unlimited length. Um, but so that's, uh, that's our extension on our black op dome base. Be right back. Pretty much all of our line, all of this things that we're doing right now is indicative really of all of our fixtures. So there's a lot of times you're gonna be on a job that you wish, for whatever reason, physical location, aesthetics, proportion, 
um, that you wish you had a shorter shroud. So all you do is you take our shroud off. Of course, you got to remove the MR16, take it out of its holder. And then we have a kit, which we just call the short stack, if you will. And it's just a short shroud, comes with a new lamp holder. You just stick that in, just a gasket, if you will. You take your lamp. Obviously, you're going to hook up the socket, which we're not doing just for clarity. And you press the lamp in nice and tight so it's seated really good. Perfect. And then you take the shroud, you stick it on. And now you can see that it changes the whole complexity of the fixture. It's more dainty. It could go into a, a spot. Okay. Hanging down. Just, it's very good looking. So it's another thing that it does. So, and you can use this again with any of the variations if you had to, the black op here, the tactical bracket, the wall mount riser. I'm not gonna go through all those variations, but I think you'll understand that. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna convert it into another fixture family or collection, and it's called the Sentinel. Now the Sentinel family is any configuration without the knuckle. Now you wonder, well, why would I need that? under a corbel, on top of a beam, flush mounted surface under a beam. There are so many times that you're gonna just wanna have a fixed location, you don't need to have adjustability, and you're gonna like this, the physical size of it. So we call this the Sentinel, all right? So that's that. Now, you wanna light up a column, a pillar, or post, very difficult to light. And again, we're gonna show you some applications. So that's when this is really this wall bracket is so handy okay you're just going to take it and you put it in you put the wall bracket on and now you can sit there and now you have a wall bracket now you can attach it to a pillar or a post you can go up you can go down you can do many 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 things all right you can also Add that riser if you need to. Now where this really comes into play again you have a fixed mounting location and you have to sit there and you have to go over an obstruction you have to do something go past some type of a detail okay very, very slick. We've even put them sideways like this when we wanted to cast light on the side of different things. So this would be the Sentinel wall bracket, short with an extension. All right, and now I'm gonna show you another different way to uh, configure this fixture. We're back, got my Sentinel. That's the base body right here. And I'm gonna show you how we can dress this baby up. So we've got something that we call the medallion trim. So it's a medallion trim kit, comes with, we call this the SMB, just a surface mounted bracket. So you're gonna mount this surface mounted bracket up to a beam, onto a structure, anywhere you want. Then this medallion trim will go over it. And then the base just literally screws right into it. And you can see that now this changes into a different fixture. And again, we're gonna show you some application fixture, but you can see how great this fixture looks for surface mounting so it's under a beam under a roof under a ceiling it's just beautiful the other thing that we do with it is we also invert it into that position we do this a lot alcoves front porches cabanas behind furniture lighting up walls pots urns so we get light up into a space right that um, really visually invites you up into that space. So it's just a great trick to, to do. Invert it. Now, of course, it's um, it's gonna collect water when it's in this position, so you wanna make sure that you're under cover because the water won't doesn't have any drainage. If you did have a problem, you could just simply drill a hole in here, let the water out, but this is really a down light. But uh, we love it, we use it all the time in that, in that position right there. So that's called the Sentinel Short Stack with the Medallion Trim. All right, we're back. I'm gonna show you now a different version. 
Say you needed, um, say you were doing some type of, um, you're in some type of cabana, porch, a barbecue, and there's some beams and it's got a lot of height on to it, and you need to get the light down because the light's too far up. All you have to do is take your riser, and again, I'm just using a four inch riser. I could use, I could use a 12 inch riser or six inch. I put the riser on, Then I would screw it, I'd have the plate, screw it right into the deal. And now I've got an extension out like that, okay? So you can see that you can extend it down from a beam. Very practical. Um, I do have another little version right here, just for the sake of time, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't uh, make it again. But the other thing that we do is we put a different top on it, you can kind of see that we can reverse that top like we did there. And you can see the difference now, kind of clever, right? So again, this erector set, Legos of fixtures, you can do so many different things with that, okay? So this would be the Sentinel short stack with a riser extension with the medallion trim. All right, we're back. We've got my base Sentinel here. So I'm sitting there and I want to hang something from a tree. So a tree hanging fixture. Obviously for my Sentinel, because there is no knuckle in it right now, I can just take a, my ring adapter. I can screw it into the, the base, as you can see. Now I've got a hanging and now I just take, put my chain in it. And now I've got a hanging, I've got a hanging fixture. All right, so I can hang it from a tree. Now, the thing I love, love, love about this, we do a lot of tricks on our jobs, so we'll sit there, as we all know, oh man, high percentage of the homes, they're, they don't have a lot of character, we need to add some different things, we need to get more light into the big, larger area, so we'll have the homeowner add large urns, urns that can fundamentally be 30, 36 inches tall, we'll put a miniature orange tree, lime tree, lemon tree in them, Yeah, they're about three and a half feet, so now we're getting um, we're at probably six feet, give or take. So imagine taking this little light, hanging it in that urn, right? At five and a half, six feet, it's, shi it's shining light down through the branch structure, onto the sidewalk, shadowing, and it's just a phenomenal way to do lighting. Um, you're in a bigger tree, maybe, you, you, don't, you don't want this, or you're converting it from the creator, which obviously the creator, if you remembered, right? Just to recap, I unscrew that. I put the knuckle on it, so this is what you would look at converting it from the creator. It would be the longer shroud, but if you wanted that lower profile, you just put the short stack on it. So that's the Skylar. Now, while we're in this, we've had a lot of guys put the Skylar in a situation to where it's under a canopy. It's under a uh, structure, and they, they put this in front of fireplaces. They've done different things, so they add the medallion plate. Okay, and so now it looks like this, right? Hanging it down, right, with a chain. We've also had guys take it and they put it the other way. So you can do so many different fun things with this line. So you can put it this way, as a little hat, kind of dresses it up, changes the whole complexity of it with that hat. And you can see how that looks now, okay? So that changed the complexity. And then again, if you wanted to put the short shroud on it, check that out, hanging from a little miniature orange tree. It's just a dainty, good looking fixture. All right, we're gonna be right back and show you some more modifications. So I wanted to show you something that we had to do a couple weeks ago on a job. There was just some, we had to get, um, we had to get light on a barbecue the way we had to come off of a post. So we used this configuration, mounted it like this, so now it's coming down under the barbecue. It had to project out over some type of an obstruction. But it was aesthetically, we had to make it really, really clean. So obviously we had to get the wire to where this location was, but we didn't want to run wire that would look kind of weird. So we used SO cord. Then we used another one of our wall adapters. So imagine now what happened is this was about five feet away coming off the same beam, off the same metal structure beam. 
and but we used it coming up, drilled through the post. That's how we had it come out, so it matched. And then of course the wire went through and into into this. So you can use this wall adapter to do more than just mount it to a wall. Um, matter of fact, while I'm on this subject, I'm going to show you another little trick real fast. I'll be right back. All right, I wanted to show you guys this little trick. We're going to be doing helping a contractor and do a commercial building in downtown San Diego. And we have, we have to be able to bring a wire out from from about four or five feet out on a, on a separation between, you know, the goes from brick to tilt up to whatever in the facade. So we have to come out, surface mount, go back in in about a five foot area. And of course, conventionally you would use EMT, bell boxes, LB, something like this, very unattractive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wall mounts. We're gonna adapt it either to half or uh, three quarter, this is half inch. And you can see that it just screws right in. We'll more than likely use our weather brass deals. So when you, if this was the front of this facade, it's gonna mount like this. So we'll drill a hole through the concrete, bring a wire in, come out, drill a hole back here. So it'll enter and exit. And this will patina and bronze up and it'll, it'll look beautiful. Um, so you can, you can use these wall brackets for a lot of different things besides just mounting a fixture. Pretty slick. And you could probably uh, use it as a towel bar. All right, we'll talk to you soon. All right, so in our, in our crater collection, we make it in the weather brass. We make it in black and we make it in white. For fun, what we're doing is we're calling the creator, which this would be the creator three, but really for Coming up with a family, we're calling this the Stormtrooper. And it's really a downlight. So the Creator 3 would be an uplight. The Stormtrooper is a downlight. We, why? Because we like the name and we like it and it looks cool. Its brother is Dark Vader, right? Now, in a Creator with a stake and a knuckle, it's the Creator 4. But with the dome base, because it's fun and it's cool, it's Dark Vader. So, Stormtrooper can do all the, all the fun things that we just showed you through the Creator. It can turn into a dome base. It can mount with a medallion. You can put all the different attachments on it. So <clears throat> for the sake of time, I don't think we're going to do that. I just wanted to show you the Stormtrooper and Dark Vader. All right, so we've got really two core fixtures in our family. We have the creator, which I just shown you guys extensively how it changes into so many different things. And we have our expander. The expander is a wall washer. It will come from factory with a 60 degree um, MR16 LED. And the creator would come with a 36 degree. So fundamentally a wall washer does that. You pretty much front forward project in, washes a wall, washes hedges, so, so many things like that. I'm showing you um, instead of our traditional weathered brass, I'm showing it to you in our white through color. Um, it's through out. It's an advanced composite material and it goes throughout the whole thing so it'll never fade, never crack. Drill holes in it, nothing matters. It's got through white. So it comes on a stake. Now, just like the creator, it has the ability to interchange. So when we add and we put a dome base on it, the M1 ink attachment, and we put the dome base on it, it now comes and changes into a thing we call the transporter. So from factory, the transporter is the same fixture, but on a dome base, and this will be the best fixture you've ever seen or used ever for under eave lighting. The way it can articulate, it doesn't matter the shape because we have, we can rotate 540 degrees this way, this way, so we can, do any whatever obstacle I have as far as under and eave, I can overcome that. So that's called the transporter. And that comes in black, weather brass, so on and so forth. We also can take, and if I take the dome base off, and I'm, I'm going to change this lock and load, 
to a threaded adapter. I just pop this plate. Careful, there's a little cam nut in there. See the gears, they ratchet the gears. They lock in place. I take that out. I put the threaded adapter in. Right here, okay, so locks in place. Put the cam nut back in here, like so. Yep. Okay. And put the thumb up back in. Okay. I also wanted to. Oh, I also want to show everybody that a lot of times you might be putting a fixture up into a tight space between two by sixes into a trellis. You can't get your you can't get your fat fingers up there and move that knuckle. You can take a skinny, tiny little wrench, and this is made right here. This wrench will go in there, and it will not go in there. Hmm. Oh, that one's a little tight. Anyway. So you can take a, a tiny little skinny wrench and you'll, you can see that they, this is made for a wrench. So if you're up in a tight spot, you can take a wrench, stick it in there and then turn it. So that can be very handy sometimes because sometimes it is hard and difficult to get your fingers in there when you're sitting there between two two by sixes or two two by fours. All right, so now that we've changed it from the load and lock to the threaded adapter, I can have a lot of fun with this fixture to dress it up. I can take my medallion trim, and now I can sit there and look how classy that looks under an eave, on the face of a wall. I can do all kinds of fun stuff. I can project out like this into a large area for soccer fields or whatever. I can go under fascia again. And this medallion plate just dresses it up dr dr dramatically. I can sit there and I can take and I can put our, our wall adapter on it. As simple as this. Okay, and again, changes the whole complexity and the look of the fixture. Again, I can come out now, mount it on fascia, on, 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 on an eave, and do a lot of great things. And the other thing that I can do along with all of the fixtures. So if I ever needed to add a riser, I can, of course, I can add a riser now. And of course, I'm just putting the weather brass one in here just so you've got some contrast. And it was sitting right next to me. So extensions, risers coming off of a side of a building over a projectile coming on top, doing this, doing that, projecting out onto a sign. If I ever wanted to use my dome base, I can. Our dome base have threads in them, so it's got a lot of strength now. If you needed to come out and project out from a building to light up a sign, imagine going out six or 12 inches or something like that, lighting up a sign off the side of a building. So, change into a lot of fixtures. All right, so showing you this conversion, you know, it all started from our expander, which was the stake mounted with the knuckle. Then we converted it, took the load and lock, converted it to where we have the thread, which then we could use the medallion and different uh, attachments. But I want to show you now how it can convert to what we call the Skyliner. If you ordered it from factory, that's what it would be called. And basically all it is now is the threaded adapter with a nut. <clears throat> Here's our gutter bracket. Now the one thing that you'll notice 
is our threaded adapter, it has slots on the side. And then this has slots. So when you sit there and you're putting this, this um, adapter into this, you just got to line it up. You hit that. You literally can tighten up this with your fingers. No tools required because of that. It locks in place because of the slot lock. And it gets really incredibly tight. No tools required. So this would go into the gutter. And then you would, you would shine up your roof. Now, this is fine if you were lighting up asphalt shingles or something like that. But if you were sitting there lighting up, um, see how tight that got? If you were sitting there lighting up <clears throat> um, <clears throat> um, red tile roof, something like that, concrete tiles, you would need to extend it up. So you just put an extender on it, no big deal. You move the nut down here to the bottom, okay? And then again, you would just you find, the, find the slot, goes in, tighten her up, position it, boom, just like so. And then you always wanna have, when you're doing this, you always wanna have this angle match the rake of the roof. And then what we do is we unscrew these screws, flip the shroud around, and so that diminishes the light that goes onto the roof tile right there, so it eliminates a hot spot. But this would be called the Skyliner. All right, I wanna show you guys, you know, we've been making this direct burial now for a couple years. It's literally the best direct burial on the market. It's completely 100%. You can throw it in the ocean, of course, I would never tell you that. You can throw it in water, of course, I never tell you that. But, um, but some clever ways that we can do things from you from the factory, because normally from the factory, it just comes with wire and a cord coming out. This would be more of a commercial type version. And what we would do is we would put a junction box on top. Of course, we have two conduits that are coming up that would hold your secondary and your, and your line voltage. Now, what's why this is clever is because you would mount it vertically in the ground, and then you'd put our lifetime lighting cover on it so this is basically what you would see in a down position and look how, look how clean that is it doesn't take up a lot of space it's very easy to install and then you have accessibility into the connections and all you got to do is bring in a half or three quarter inch pipe into the junction box and then of course the finished look you put gravel around it and then of course the finished look right from the exterior you know obviously Obviously the finish looks looks like this. Very, very, very clean. So I was excited to show you that. We just came up with this a couple weeks ago. We were helping a contractor do a 200 light job and we had three direct burials. And um, well, actually we had four direct burials, three in an isolated position like this. And then the other three went side by side. We nippled them all together and then used a larger rectangular valve box. Very clean, very simple, very clean, very professional. All right, I want to thank everybody for paying attention to these. Uh, it's probably longer than I wanted videos, but I hope it gave you clarity on the Creator family, the collection, the Expander family and collection, how those two fixtures can turn into 60, 70 different fixtures with the mounting and the, and the, and the brackets and the different ways that they can transform. It's really an amazing product. I think you're going to appreciate everything that they do. And um, I want you to go to our YouTube channel, I want you to visit LifetimeLightingSystems.com and certainly you can call our office. You can call me personally, 760-580-4980. We're here to help you. We're all here to do a great job and improve lighting. Anyway, we'll see you the next time.